when Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the formation house of the religious of Mary Immaculate Claritian Missionary Sister, Keston City. Today, the church commemorates the memorial of St. Francis Xavier, priest and missionary. He was born in 1506 in Spain. In 1537, he was ordained in Rome and there he devoted himself to works of charity. After several years of his ordination, as a missionary, he was sent to Asia and tirelessly proclaimed the gospel, and through his preaching, many people believed in God. He died in 1552 near the China coast on the island of Sanchian. In the first reading, we will listen to the call of Jeremiah. God has appointed him as a prophet since he was in the womb of his mother. And the gospel will tell us that Jesus is the good shepherd who knows his sheep and his sheep know him. With joy and grateful heart to God, we thank him for having blessed our congregation with six new sisters who will do their profession and one sister will renew her profession of vows. As we gather here to witness their first profession, we give thanks to the Lord for calling them to follow his footsteps in the religious life. We recognize each individual vocation as a gift from God, first for the sisters who receives the call, give to our religious family, and above all, for the good of the church and the service of the people of God. And through the intercession of St. Francis Xavier, we ask the grace of missionary spirit and faithfulness for their vocational journey. After finishing the stages of their formation of aspirancy, postulancy, and novitiate, finally they decided to profess to our congregation 
of the religious of Mary Immaculate Claresian Missionary Sisters. We are gathered here today to witness, support, and pray for them for their commitment to do their first profession. We present them to God and to all of you. Leti Kimchi, the daughter of Mr. Le Dan Vi and Ms. Tran Tinga from Vietnam. Yofin Unile Umsada, the daughter of Mr. Johannes Saperangan and Mrs. Yusfina Danari from Indonesia. Mariana de Jesus dos Santos, the daughter of Mr. Fasco Alves Galucho and Mrs. Madalena dos Santos from Indonesia. Maria Noviana Nino, the daughter of Mr. Milike Urnino and Mrs. Rosina Aswat from Indonesia. Monica Angela Lake, the daughter of Mr. Agustinus Letelake and Mrs. Juliana Banase from Indonesia. Irma Rosanti Eko, the daughter of Mr. Agustinus Eko and Mrs. Elizabeth Abi from Indonesia. And Sister Yoneta Kole will renew her profession of vow. As we gather, let us unite our prayers and give thanks to the Lord for the gift of vocation they have received, as well as for their families who willingly offer them to the Lord. And we pray that our Blessed Mother Mary may accompany them as they say their yes to God's call to greater love. Mary's fiat continues to embrace the challenges and grow with God's will and love. And now we invoke the intercession of St. Anthony Mary Claret and Venerable Maria Antonia Paris, who had always lived zeal, vibrant, and constant faith. Let us welcome our priest presider, Reverend Father Arnold Abelardo CMF, and his celebrants. Let us now all stand to sing joyfully the entrance hymn. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, 
let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O Lord, who have inspired our sisters, Kimchi, Yofin, Mariana, Nofi, Monica, and Irma, with the resolve to follow Christ more closely, grant them, we pray, a blessed end to the journey they now begin, so that they may be found worthy to offer you a perfect gift of loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me. Before, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord Jesus, ah, Lord God, I said. I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me. Do not say, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them. For I am with you to deliver you, oracle of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
unto him my soul shall live my descendants shall serve him let the coming generations be told of the lord that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown I will praise you A reading from the first letter of St. John. Now this is the message that we have heard from him and proclaim to you. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus, cleanses us from all sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, 
and the sheep hear his voice. As he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out, when he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. I am the good shepherd, and I know my and my know me. As just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for my sheep. The Holy Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. We will now proceed to the presentation of the candidates. The formator calls the names of the novices, and they will manifest their availability, followed by the interrogation and the homily. Leti Kimchi. Yofin Unileum Sada. Mariana de Jesus dos Santos. Maria Nofiana Nino. Maria Angela Lake. Monica Angela Lake. Irma Rosanti Eko. Dear sisters, what do you ask from God and His Holy Church? May the Lord grant you perseverance in this holy purpose. Thanks be to God. These sisters, Kim Chi, Yofin, Mariana, Nofi, Monica, and Irma. Very fitting and very meaningful the theme that you have chosen. I will teach you and show you the way. Your journey has been a journey of learning and learning is never easy because you need to listen, you need to discover, you need to read, you need to understand. But in this learning, we look to Jesus as our teacher, the model of humility, the model of service, the good shepherd, the one who knows the flock, the one who understands.
the people. Sometimes our idealism can lead us to our own decision to just doing what we want without understanding. I remember when I was still a seminarian, every time I was studying in the U.S., every time I will go to the Philippines, I always visit the different mission. After my novitiate, I decided to go back and I went to Bungyao and to visit. I joined uh, our priest and the novices in climbing to Santo Rosario. There is a mission. It took us many hours to reach the place. It was a fiesta. And during the fiesta, the priest, Father Mon, I remember Father Mon Libot was the parish president, celebrated the mass and officiated the wedding of a couple. Humble and poor couple. They already have, in fact, their children. And I, a stranger, new to the place, was thinking, oh, my God, the celebration is so quiet. There is no, it's not fun. And I was thinking, you know, in Nueva Ecija, in my province where I came from, whenever there is a, a wedding, what we normally would do is we will throw rice as a sign of abundance and blessing and coins as well. So I gather all my coins, I took it from my pocket, and as the couple were coming out of a very simple and old chapel, I waited, and as soon as they are out, I threw all the coins. And the coins fell one by one by one by one, and everyone was just looking at it until the children picked it up, and then returned it to me. And I said, why? Why did they not appreciate it? Why did they not understood? Because I made the decision that that was what is best and what is good without understanding the context, without assessing the reality and their way of celebrating life, of wedding, of what it is to have fun. And I remember those children really handing it over back to me. Here is your coin. Because that's not how they celebrate. That's not how they gather and express what a wedding should be. And I think it's important that we ask the Lord, teach me and show me the way, O oh Lord. And that gave me a lot of lesson. So when I returned to the United States, as I continue in my theology, I think it taught me a great lesson of understanding, of learning, of discovering first. And I remember Virgilio Elizondo, one of our professors, he would always say that our first act of mission when we go to a place, is to remove our sandals. That even before we arrive, God was there already. And they have their own way of celebrating life, of faith, of mourning, of justice, of peace. And he said, remove your sandals because the place, the people, you are entering into a sacred place and sacred people. I will teach you, I will teach you the way, and I will teach you and show you the way from the psalm. And it's important that you remain open. Yesterday, I, I attended an international uh, global peace festival. I was in the panel with the uh, imam, who was the head imam of the Washington DC. And another uh, woman, a Muslim from Indonesia, and then one from the national government on peace process. Each one presenting, each one sharing the importance of coming together, of understanding the people, of discovering the reality. What 
can bring us together. When we look around us, the war that is happening in Ukraine, what is happening in the situation of the COVID situation in China, people protesting, and in Iran. I look at the sisters, and I am reminded of my own journey. When I was I started as a postulant, and then as a novice, and I remember in my first profession, because I did it in San Antonio, Texas, away from my family, and all I kept in my chest was the photo of my, my family. And sometimes when we respond to a mission, we leave behind our family, we leave behind our language, or sometimes our places, but always we keep it in our heart. And so yesterday, as we were discussing, as we were sharing about what can bring us together, people from Indonesia, people from United States, from the Philippines, and there is also a monk, on how we can learn from each other and how we can understand. In our religious life, we have the Vietnamese, we have the Indonesian, we have the Filipino, and from Myanmar and from the different communities. It is important that we listen to each other. It's important that in this journey, sisters, we always have the openness of mind and openness of heart. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, let him be our model of humility. Because once he said, learn from me, for I am humble, for I am meek and gentle. And then as Claritian missionaries, we also look at Mary as our model of simplicity, of service, of saying yes. In our document, it says, Mary is our model teaches us that in our mission, without heart, without tenderness, without compassion and love, we cannot be true followers of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. May we learn from the son of Mary, who was a Good Shepherd, who was willing to give his life. In the same way that Father Well Gallardo, till the end, gave his life during his captivity, and in his life as a missionary in Basilan. And many others, many others who were ahead of us. So today, as you make your profession, as we do the interrogation, ask the Lord, Lord Jesus, the Good Shepherd, teach me your way. Show me the way so that I may understand so that I may be ready and open to serve you and to follow you. So we give thanks to God for this very beautiful occasion, for your congregation, for your province, the Claritian Missionary Sisters, your formators who were kind and generous in sharing their prayer life and everything that you do here in this community. We give thanks to God for your family, for your parents who nurtured you and started with you how to worship the Lord. And we give thanks to God for all our partners, mission partners, and also our benefactors who allow us, who support us so that we may continue our mission. After your profession, as you continue in your journey, some of you will be assigned in different places. Maybe you will not be together. Maybe some of you will be together. Maybe some of you will stay here. The others will go back to Indonesia. Some will go to Vietnam or other places. May you have the heart of the Good Shepherd to always be compassionate and kind, always discovering. As I told you about the story of throwing coins, that gave me a lot of lesson, that whenever I will go to a particular place, I will always ask, how do they celebrate? I will always inquire. How do they sing? How do they understand? I remember when I went to Indonesia, I was surprised. I thought I was attending 
the uh, Muslim celebration because they were calling God in the mass Allah. And I never heard of that, but they were calling Allah as God. No, we call him God here or Dios. But there I discovered that God Allah for the Catholic in Indonesia and for the Muslim, just the same. Maybe the pronunciation may be different or the punctuation mark, but the same Allah. So when we are open to discovering, when we are humble to learning, then we will be, I believe, a better missionary. Not always saying this is what is best for you. The same way that I throw all those coins. Since then, I never throw coins. So it saved me a lot of money now. <laughs> so I always ask, how do you celebrate Christmas here? How do you celebrate New Year here? Always ask. Even words, because there are words in Bahasa or in Indonesia that are similar words in the Philippines, but have different meaning. So I always, I'm always careful. Even in the words in Spanish, but in Tagalog, it means delicious here and good, but it means bad in Mexico. So always ask, always learn. So that's why may this theme, may this spirit from Psalm 32, I will teach you and show you the way, always becomes one of your best practice in entering any place, in discovering any place or people. To always be open, to always be humble. And may the Good Shepherd, the one who was kind, the compassionate, the generous, and the humble, be our teacher always, now and always. Let us pause for a moment. And ask the Lord, the Good Shepherd, to give us a heart of simplicity, of service, and of course, the courage to be willing to lay down our life for the people. Now we proceed to the examination of the candidates. And after the examination, the novice will make her first profession, will stand before the provincial superior, Sister Rizalin Solitario RMI, through whom she commits herself to God and to the congregation and pronounces the formula of profession. Dear sisters, you're already consecrated to God through water and the Holy Spirit. Do you want to be united more closely to God through the religious profession? Yes. Being consecrated in baptism, I want, by the strength of the Spirit, to give a response of love in total oblation of my being to the Father. Do you want to accept and live voluntarily poverty, obedience, and chastity for the kingdom of heaven to follow Christ with greater commitment? Yes, I promise to follow in the footsteps of Christ my highest good in the poverty from the spirit of the Beatitudes. I promise to imitate Jesus Christ, who became obedient until death on the cross, and to live the gift of the virginity that brings me to a total dedication to the service of God and of the brethren. Do you want, under the impulse of the Holy Spirit, to keep faithfully the Constitution, and to use generously your life for the service of the Church according to the spirit of the Congregation of the Religious 
Of Mary Immaculate Clarissian Missionary Sisters. Yes, with God's grace, I want and I promise to keep faithfully the constitutions that will be the book of my life. Let us pray. Lord, look with kindness on your daughters, Kimchi, Yofin. Mariana, Nofi, Monica, and Irma, who in the presence of the church want to consecrate their life to God today, promising to keep the evangelical counsels. May their way of life glorify you, Lord, and be of help to the salvation of all people through Christ our Lord. In response to God's call, I, Sister Lady Kim Chi, want to consecrate myself to God, the Father, to the Son, in the Spirit, with the help of Mary Immaculate, to follow the footsteps of Christ, our hearts good. In imitation of the apostles, teaching, the, teaching every creature the holy law of the Lord, and working for the renewal of the church. Therefore, in the presence of the sisters and other persons of God's people present here, in your hands, Sister Rizalin Solitario, I profess and vow to God poverty, obedience, and chastity for a year. According to the constitution of the congregation, I promise to live in this family of religious of Mary Immaculate Claudian Missionary Sisters, carefully observing the obligations of my religious life. Pray for me to the Lord that in serving the church I may be faithful to the spirit of my founders for the glory of God. Amen. In response to God's call, I, Sister Yofin Unileum Sada, want to consecrate myself to God the Father, through the Son in the Spirit, and with the help of Mary Immaculate, to follow the footsteps of Christ, our highest good, in imitation of the apostles, teaching every creature the holy law of the Lord, and working for the renewal of the church. Therefore, in the presence of the sisters and other persons of God's people present here and in your hands, Sister Rizalin Solitario, I profess and vow to God poverty, obedience, and chastity for a year. According to the constitutions of the congregation, and I promise to live in this family of religious of Mary Immaculate Claritian Missionary Sisters, carefully observing the obligations of my religious life. Pray for me to the Lord that in serving the church, I may be faithful to the spirit of my founders for the glory of God. Amen. In response to God's call, I, Sister Mariana de Jesus dos Santos, want to consecrate myself to God the Father through the Son in the Spirit, and with the help of Mary Immaculate, to follow the footsteps of Christ, our highest good. In imitation of the apostles, teaching every creature the holy law of the Lord, and working for the renewal of the Church. Therefore, in the presence of the sisters and other persons of God's people present here, and in your hands, 
Sister Rizaline Solitario, I profess and vow to God poverty, obedience, and chastity for a year. According to the constitutions of the congregation, and I promise to live in this family of religious of Mary Immaculate Claritian Missionary Sisters, carefully observing the obligations of my religious life. Pray for me to the Lord that in serving the church, I may be faithful to the spirit of my founders for the glory of God. Amen. In response to God's call, I, Sister Maria Noviana Nino, want to consecrate myself to God the Father through the Spirit in the through the Son in the Spirit, and with the help of Mary Immaculate to follow the footsteps of Christ, our highest good, in imitation of the apostles, teaching every creature the holy law of the Lord, and working for the renewal of the church. Therefore, in the presence of the sisters and other persons of God's people present here, and in your hands, Sister Rizaline Solitario, I profess and vow to God poverty, obedience, and chastity for a year. According to the constitutions of the congregation, and I promise to live in this family of religious of Mary Immaculate Clarison Missionary Sisters, carefully observing the obligations of my religious life. Pray for me to the Lord that in serving the church, I may be faithful to the spirit of my foundress for the glory of God. Amen. In response to God's call, I, Sister Monica Angela Lake, want to consecrate myself to God the Father through the Son in the Spirit and with the help of Mary Immaculate to follow the footsteps of Christ, our highest good, in imitation of the apostles, teaching every creature the holy law of the Lord and working for the renewal of the church. Therefore, in the presence of the sisters, and of God's people present here. And in your hands, Sister Rizaline Solitario, I profess and vow to God poverty, obedience, and chastity for a year, according to our constitutions of the congregation. And I promise to live in this family of religious of Mary Immaculate Claritian Missionary Sisters carefully observing the obligations of my religious life. Pray for me to the Lord that in serving the church, I may be faithful to the spirit of my founders for the glory of God. Amen. In response to God's call, I, Sister Irma Santiago, want to consecrate myself to God the Father through the Son in the Spirit and with the help of Mary Immaculate to follow the footsteps of Christ, our highest good, in imitation of the apostles, teaching every creature the holy law of the Lord and working for the renewal of the church. Therefore, in the presence of the sisters and other persons of God's people present here, and in your hands, Sister Rizaline Solitario, I profess and vow to God poverty, obedience, and chastity for a year according to the constitutions of the congregation. And I promise 
to live in this family of religious of Mary Immaculate Claresian Missionary Sisters, carefully observing the obligations of my religious life. Pray for me to the Lord, that in serving the church, I may be faithful to the spirit of my founders, for the glory of God. Amen. We will now proceed to the handling of the symbols of the profession. Receive this veil. It is a sign of your consecration to God and your total dedication to the service of the church. Amen. Dear sisters, receive the constitution of your congregation, religious of Mary Immaculate Clarissian Missionary Sisters, that may be your light and guide. Try to meditate them with faith, keep faithfully, and observe with love as you continue to grow in the ways of the Lord to the service of the kingdom. Sisters, receive the cross of Christ, aware that he loves you until death, and it is a sign of your mission in the church. Bring it to the whole world in the service of the gospel. Now the junior sister, Yoneta Kole, will go forward to renew her vows in the hands of the provincial superior, Sister Rizaline Solitario.
in response to God's call, I, Sister Yoneta Kole, want to consecrate myself to God the Father through the Son in the Spirit and with the help of Mary Immaculate to follow the footsteps of Christ our highest good in imitation of the apostles teaching every creature the holy law of the Lord and working for the renewal of the church. Therefore, in the presence of the sisters and other persons of God's people present here, and in your hands, Sister Rizalin Solitario, I profess and bow to God, poverty, obedience, and chastity for a year, according to the constitutions of the congregation, and I promise to live in this family of religious of Mary Immaculate Claresian Missionary Sisters, carefully observing the obligations of my religious life. Pray for me to the Lord that in serving the church, I may be faithful to the spirit of my founders for the glory of God. Amen. The Provincial Superior will now give her address to the newly professed sisters and the junior who renewed. In the name of the congregation, I receive you in our religious community. In living our life, you can enjoy its history, spirituality, and mission, and go progressively and identifying yourselves with the charism in response to the gift of vocation that God has given you. Congratulations, sisters. Let us clap our hands to show our support and solidarity to our sisters. And the Claresian missionary sister will now welcome them with the sign of peace and fraternity.
we will now bring our prayers, the prayers of the faithful. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to God the Father for all his gifts, especially the gift of vocation he has bestowed upon our sisters, Kimchi, Yofin, Mariana, Nofi, Monica, Irma, and Nita. On this day of their religious profession, let us pray for their faithfulness, and may the Lord guide all of us in our journey as we bear a Christian calling in our daily life. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and all consecrated persons, may they continue to bring the presence of Christ and become a living copy of Christ through their simplicity, faithfulness, and love to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, We thank you for the gift of our families, especially for their generosity. May you grant them strength and courage to keep the union in the family, preserve the happiness and harmony in their life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the glitters of Mary Immaculate Christian Missionary Sisters, that they may follow immediately the footsteps of Jesus Christ and become a living witness of the gospel as they live out their vows. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our benefactors and friends, that the Lord continue to grant them the necessity graces, that they need and bless all their efforts in life, and may they continue to be a channel of God's love for those around them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly prophets and for those who renew their vows, that may the Lord grant them the grace of faithfulness in their journey in following Jesus Christ, who is the gate, the truth, and the light in proclaiming the good news to every creature. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's people presence here, we thank you, O Lord, for the presence of each one of us here, especially to support and witness the first profession of our six newly professed sisters. In this Eucharistic celebration, may you grant us the grace of good health and abundant blessings for our spiritual and material need. May you grant also our heart desire and strengthen us that we may be faithful in responding to your call through different vocations that you have called us to live. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we hear your call but we fear our weaknesses. Teach us always to follow you with courage and hope so that we may be worthy to share the eternal happiness of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Người lông đông lấy sự sống 
nên chúa đã chọn con nên bàn tâm phú để con sống trong ơn ngài ban suốt cả cuộc đời chỉ mong vẹn nghĩa và sẽ chia bên chúa mà thôi tháng ngày phôi pha chẳng đổi thay lòng mến yêu Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the oblations and prayers we offer you as we celebrate the beginnings of religious profession, and grant that the first fruits of your servants may be transformed by the grace into the plentiful harvest through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He is the unblemished flower who sprang from the root of the virgin and declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by his way of life the surpassing word of chastity. He chose always to hold fast to what is pleasing to you and becoming obedient for our sake even until death. He willingly offered himself to you as a perfect and fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller service of your majesty those who for love of you leave all earthly things and promise they would find treasure in heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end, we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guaranteed to one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ernesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, all these sisters who have left all things to be for your sake in order to find you in all things and forget themselves to look to the needs of all. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially Saint Anthony, Mary Claret, Martyr Patrocino Giner, and Claretian Martyrs of Bar Barbastro, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father in dignity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family, we together call our Father.
Just Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may we always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sigh of peace. and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
adornment of the night will not encumber you if you believe my child the star this is an emptiness for here I'm all your heart unto my image painfully you long to see the self you yearn to be but fear to know the world from which you flee in me find hope all these I give you if you remain in me
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received fill us with joy, O Lord, and grant that by their power these servants may faithfully fill the duties of the religious life that they have begun and may offer you willing service to Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen to the words of gratitude from one of our newly professed sisters. After the Thanksgiving message, they will move forward and kneel for the solemn blessing. Let me open this love letter for all of you. Good afternoon to all. So on behalf of my companions, I would like to express our heartfelt gratitude. Let me begin with this sentence. When love is real, it makes a powerful mark on us, moving us always forward. And finally, we come to understand that love has special day. It comes through today and become memorable day for us. Above all, we thank God for his endless love guidance, accompaniment, and his faithfulness, which enable us to reach this day and for all of us gather here and witness this wonderful event in our life. In this memorable occasion, we would like to freely express our heartfelt gratitude to those people in our life. First, we would like to thank our priest presider, Reverend Father Arnold Abelardo CMF. Thank you, Father, for your availability. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for your generosity to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Thank you for the meaningful and inspiring homily. We would like also to thank all the concelebrants. Thank you, fathers, our Claresian brothers, Deacon. Thank you for your presence and your prayers. It makes us feel good and stronger. Second, we would like to thank our Mother General, Sister Jolanta Kafka RMI. Even though she's not present here, but we would like to thank her for preparing us for three days retreat for this special day. Sister Jola has helped us to depend and to be rooted in our identity and to live and how to live faithfully our Claresian vocation. And to our beloved congregation, most especially to our provincial superior, Sister Rizalin Solitario RMI, and her council members who accepted us as members and messengers of Christ in this missionary congregation. Thank you, sister, for your kindness. <laughs> we also thank all our sisters in the congregation who are united with us in prayer, and some of us are joining in the live streaming. And for our families, relatives, friends, and most especially, for our parents. 
Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the sacrifices. Thank you for the joys and the tears which you have shared along our journey. Even if you are not present here to witness this memorable occasion of the six of us, but your prayers and support is always present and will always be present. Yes, you are joining us through live streaming. We also thank our benefactors. Thank you for your generosity and kindness in helping and making this day special for us. For our community, thank you, my dear sisters, for your prayers encouragement, and for all the lessons which has helped us in our growth. Thank you for preparing and making this celebration memorable for us. Let's give them a round of applause. We would like also to thank Claret Seminary community, especially Father Angelito Ancla, CMF, <laughs> the superior. <laughs> for his generosity, kindness, and always saying yes in making the path easy for us. Also for our beloved brothers, seminarians, who help us. <laughs> who help us in preparing the sound system, documentation, altar server, and in setting up the live streaming. Thank you so much, brothers. And for our choir. <laughs> yes, I haven't asked them to give you a round of applause, but they already <laughs> do it. <laughs> so thank you for your angelic and your lovely voices, which makes this celebration solemn and joyful. Thank you, brothers, seminarians, our beautiful postulants and novices, for your kindness and your collaboration in making this celebration meaningful. Also for our organist, brothers Chung and Dang. <laughs> thank you, thank you for your availability and your beautiful instrument that made this celebration more meaningful. Once again, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> And for our staff, Ate Pinky, Tata, Andrea, Luz, and Kuya Gilbert. Thank you for your help and for your sincere services. Maraming salamat po. We acknowledge the presence of the parents of our Vietnamese novice Tung Tung and the sister of our postulant Hoa from Vietnam has come to join us in our first profession. And we say, come on. <laughs> and we thank God's people gathered here. Thank you for your supporting us and for joining us, especially for witnessing our first profession. Thank you so much. And finally, to those who are joining us through live streaming, thank you for your support and your prayers. Wherever they are, thank you so much. And finally, from 
<laughs> Finally, this is the last. <laughs> I, I know that the tables are waiting for us, but just please bear with me. <laughs> so, finally. <laughs> so, finally, from the six of us, from the six of us, we sincerely thank you with all our hearts. Maraming salamat po. Muchas gracias. Arigato. Come on. Terima kasih and thank you so much. Finally. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sisters, uh, for inviting me to preside this holy mass. Sister Lin Lin, thank you. You know, we Clarician, your brothers are always here. And of course, Saklai, as we always encounter and welcome you for your immersion. So, terima kasih, and daghan uh, salamat, come on, obrigado, and all of the above. So, maraming maraming salamat po. Okay, finally, we stand. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with your Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, inspirer of every good resolve, foster your purposes and strengthen your hearts that what you have promised you may keep with persevering faith. Amen. May He grant you to hasten in the joy of Christ along the narrow way you have chosen. Rejoicing to bear burdens of your brothers and sisters. Amen. And may the charity of God make you a family brought together in the Lord's name to show forth the image of love of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered in these sacred rites, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist celebration has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. with the sisters. The priest presider with the newly professed sisters and for all the priests. Clarician sisters to take picture with their new prophet sister. The the sisters. The sister, please take your position. Continue to sing. Please, all Claresian sisters, move forward. Ah. Sisters, prophet sisters, please take your position.